so it's a week later checking out things obviously uh, the collision snapped off these plastic sections here there was one there one here this one's still intact and this one's broken off so that's that's uh hate to knock it but uh, that's polaris's design and it's uh as much as i love this machine I've, I've hated this from the day i got it so they actually make a metal insert and i tried to make my own and they slide in here like this there's obviously holes in here and those meet up with this piece here which is actually metal it's uh, right on the frame so it's pretty strong and she had a plastic rod in there i don't know if i have it anymore i think i threw them out ah right here look at these plastic so that's your hinge so one would go here and the other one would go here i don't know I ordered the, the metal kit to repair my hood and uh, it'll be the proper one so these somebody's already gone through the effort of measuring them all out. Not cheap to buy that kit but it's like 320 bucks to replace this whole lid. So, yeah that's kind of where we are. The basket I just straightened it out it, it kind of twisted up on the on the frame here. And other than that the basket is in pretty good shape. It did punch in uh, right here broke all the welds all the way across here and this was all kind of pushed in i don't know if you can see it flexes a little i'm not really worried about it i spent like 40 bucks on this whole rack so i don't really care other than that it held up pretty good it's still really straight and the only other issue i had uh was this this bent up a little bit and then i had to put my pod back together because when i went over the handlebars there it uh, pushed this pod off a bit and this screw here got pulled right through so i had to pull off the the, the assembly here pull the screw out and then i just put a uh, washer behind it so it holds it in the rest of the machine is fine there's no other broken plastic bumper's still straight but uh yeah she's looking a little naked right now all right that's it that's kind of where i am all right so my chore for today is uh fixing this up so i got all the parts everything came in got the latches got a set of two i'm going to replace both of them because they are these are aftermarket players wants things like 40 bucks each for one of these i got both of these for 20 bucks on amazon and you know outside of a little styling it's the same thing so that was cheap so i might as well replace both of them so they match uh i only damaged one of them uh, and then these are the brackets so these actually repair your uh, your lid reinforce these uh these plastic tabs here and then this section here meets up with here so it's metal on metal has a nice long bolt instead of that plastic that plastic hinge so i was gonna i was thinking of maybe uh just using epoxy i bought some uh two-part epoxy this is JB Weld and uh, just glue them in but I honestly I don't know if that's going to be strong enough what I think I'm going to be doing is drilling through here through the back piece and rivet it on that way so I can get four rivets on each one that should be plenty strong enough the downside is the rivets are going to be showing here so you know I'll have two here and you know two in here somewhere two here and then two in here it's just cosmetic but i think that's going to be the best way to go so that's what i'm going to do like i said I, I was going to use the the epoxy but the problem is is if it doesn't work and it ends up breaking then if i need to get these out it's going to be a bitch it's going to be a pain in the butt i know it i might end up doing more damage than good so at least with rivets you drill them out anyway that's what i'm going to do i'm going to try and get this thing back together then i could put the the rack back on and yes, the Arctic Cat is still in pieces. I imagine Sunday we'll get that back together. We have some parts for that up here. It's a new uh, new gasket and uh, some rollers for the clutch. So yeah, better get to work. All right. So before I actually take the plunge and uh, drill some holes and stuff like that, this is what it'll look like underneath your hood. So uh, I'm gonna do the four rivets. I'll have four in here and four on there i mean there's no videos online you can find these things anywhere on amazon ebay everybody has these things they range various different pricing it's kind of funny but it's all the same idea but this is how it looks and those will be into these uh, cavities here like i mentioned earlier i'm just kind of eyeballing it 
and uh, I'm gonna try and drill them in the same spot so everything looks very symmetrical, very clean. That way I don't have four rivets, you know, all over the place. Okay, so I think that's probably the good spot. The two back ones, which will be a little higher up, not in the lettering, I'm gonna get those ones in first. And I think the easiest way is to take, take this mount off first. It's just a couple Torx T25s. They might even be a little bigger because these have a little bit of play. This is working. So you don't have to take these all the way out. Just loosen them up like that. And then this just slides out like this. So I think for my own sanity and trying to hold the lid up and, and drilling holes, I think I'm going to fit it to this first and then put this back up on the quad and uh, tighten those up. Just make sure everything clo uh, closes before I go and drill out the other holes. And you get a little bit of wiggle room with... Uh, with this just because it does slide on that little key holder so you get a little bit of wiggle room so if it's too far forward or back i could probably adjust it a little bit i do have one factory hole left so thank god that's going to be kind of my uh my saving grace okay okay if anybody knows me they know that i'm pretty pretty ocd so i made myself a template out of a coca-cola box and then that way my holes here match on both of them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just use a punch. One, two, okay. Then I can take my template out. Then I can transfer my template to this one. I made it pretty snug, so it fits good. So now I have two. They're identical. Spacing is perfect. I'll drill these out that way I have my first holes ready for when I uh, want to drill through the plastic and pop a couple rivets in. I'm just checking. My rivets are going to fit perfectly. So that's the first one. I'm going to do the second one. Got this little tool here. It's a little countersink bit. Works good for taking the burrs off. Off here, I could sand it down, but. Okay, so that wasn't as pretty, so I am gonna take it to the sander. Perfect. That's a real tiny nut. I don't even know if I have a wrench for this. Yep, that's really small. Eight thirty seconds. I almost wonder if it'd be easier to go the other way. Don't have a lot of room in here for, for a screwdriver. Right after I lined everything up. Well, you can learn with me. You can learn by not rear-ending your wife too, unless she likes it. Holy jeez. Good thing I don't have big burly hands. Okay, you don't want it too tight. I mean, these are uh, nylon nuts here. They should hold. This one will be a little easier because all I got to do is line up two pieces. The other one there, I had to kind of get that plastic sandwiched in the middle there too. Uh, this side here is just a little, little stiffer. I'll probably just go ahead and drill it out because, I mean, it does have the factory plastic there. So it does tell me where it needs to be. Sorry, I was talking, you, you couldn't even see what I was doing. Okay, so this one here, it still has the factory plastic there. So it's pretty much in the position it needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that out. I'm just wondering if I should drill it, probably when it's in the closed position. Then there's nothing binding. Here we go, here goes nothing. And you probably didn't see any of that because my arm was in the way. Oops. That don't look too bad. Now I'm just going to rivet from the outside just because the outside of a rivet always looks a little cleaner. Cool. That looks good. Yeah, so that's what it's going to look like on the outside. That's not horrible. 
And really I could just paint those if I'm not worried about it, but I'm not. It's an off-road machine, shit happens. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I should be able to check my spacing on this side. See where everything kind of lands on this side here and uh, eyeball this one. Yeah, that looks good right there. Okay, two more rivets. Not sure if you saw it, the camera wasn't focused, but there was birds flying around in here with me. So that's what we're looking at. That's the that's the new hinge. You know what? I'm I'm actually okay with that. Yeah, that looks good. And I kind of like doing it this way versus having it through the sides here because that's really, I mean, that's not a lot of meat either. That could still break. Not saying that this will never break, but if I rear end somebody again, it could screw up this whole lid, but let's hope that doesn't happen. So now I just need to figure out where the bottom rivets are gonna go. I wanna make sure that uh, wherever they go, it's not in a really weird spot. Like I don't want a rivet coming kind of in the middle of here, you know? If I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna have it somewhere kind of hidden. So this one here will have to be in the lettering somewhere to kind of hide it. And then this one here will have to be in the lettering as well. I don't know, it might even be strong enough with two of them, but I'm gonna put uh, at least three in. I don't, I don't think it looks that bad. Pretty nifty. But I'll get it back on, make sure everything is in the right spot. And uh, like I said, I can adjust it. So if it's like off a bit, I can adjust it a little bit here on these keyholes. All right, that's gonna be the next step, fitment. Little off. There. Perfect. Yeah, I just had to move it back just uh, just a hair. Okay. So before I actually mount that on there, I'm gonna go ahead and put the buckles on uh, because I got to make sure that the buckles do line up with uh, with these points here. So I want to make sure that that latches before I go and tighten that back up. And then uh, before I attach that, I gotta put my basket back on. Cool, no, I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, and that might even be stronger than what was on there. There is a uh, wire here too, and those connect up into here, so there's not so much uh, uh, weight on the, on the lid there. So I'll have to attach those as well. But no, I, I moved it a bit, but uh, I think that looks good. You know what, and that doesn't bother me at all. It kind of looks cool. I feel like I should go drill holes all over the place and just stick random rivets everywhere. Nah, I don't think so. Awesome. No, I like that. What do you think? It'll get me back in action. All right. All right, let's do the latches. Okay, I gotta do the first one, the broken one. And uh, first step is drilling out the old uh, rivet. And your rivet gets stuck on the bit. Then you gotta punch, punch the old rivets out. And hopefully those holes li uh, line up with the aftermarket. So this is the aftermarket one, and this is the factory. Yeah, it's identical. Okay, so this should be an easy, easy rivet job. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is uh, stick this through here, through the plastic, and then I'm gonna have to put a washer on the other side because uh, the holes here are uh, too big. And the rivets that came out of there were kind of a, a star shaped. So they uh, they opened up. I don't have those, so I'm gonna have to make the best of what I have. If I really have to, I'll just put a, a nut and bolt on there. And this is gonna be fun trying to hold this while riveting. There goes my washer. Be a lot helpful if I had an extra hand. Ah, drop the washer again. All right. Okay, I'm not going to record this because I think there's going to be some curse words. And I don't know where my washer went. 
That's okay. Washers and rivets are cheap. All right, I'll tune in when I'm done riveting that on. So I got everything in. Uh, on this side here, I, I just put the self-tapping screws that it comes with. I just put a couple extra. This side here, I didn't do anything. But uh, yeah, so I just have the two rivets there. I'm thinking that's probably gonna be good enough. Hopefully, two there plus those. It's gotta be better than the plastic that was there. I mean, most of the strain is here, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I think it'll be. I think it'll be okay. I got the. These on, this is a bit of a pain in the ass to do, but I managed to get it on. I used a piece of electrical tape uh, just to hold the washers on the other side, and then I was able to, you know, apply some force here. So, swapped out both, they're all both brand new. Uh, this one, there was nothing wrong with it, but I, I just pulled it off anyway, just so everything's all the same. And then at least we have a spare one in case uh, no one breaks on the other machine. Yeah. Now I gotta go make my kids some lunch and uh, throw this thing back on the machine and be ready to roll. Won't look so naked anymore. Like that one.